YouTube, Woody Butter here, and we are back in Pokemon Snakewood. Uh, well, we're also back in the peaceful, peaceful slumber of Link's dreams. Well, not really dreams, but Link's bedroom. We're in Link's bedroom. Well, not his bedroom. Okay, I'm just going to jump into this. <laughs> Alright, in usual Link fashion of waking up, I... Woo! Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's slightly laggy. That's annoying. Is it? Can, is that bearable? Or am I going to have to... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to fix that. One moment, please. Okay, so playing at 150% speed kind of gets rid of that. Um, this could be interesting. Oh, I can punch. So, so this could be interesting. Oh, thank goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Wonderful. You, you, you just push me around. Punch. Oh, I can't punch you. Can I shield you? No, stop talking. I can't shield. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. I was pressing the wrong button. Right. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, Butter, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. Oh, I forgot his voice already. This is terrible. It is as you have all heard. A man named Varty has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. So you put her on display in your th throne room. You sick, you sick man. If we had the sacred Pekori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Varty shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pekori? Hmm? The Pekori? You mean those thumb-sized little imps from the fairy tales? Yes, the same. But the Pekori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pekori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within minish woods. Hmm? They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. <gasps> what? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Pekori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Bit creepy. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Butter? Ooh. <laughs> if Butter has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Pekori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Bakori blade. Da, da, da. Oh, amazing. I was hoping that would be in it. You accepted the broken Bakori blade. This is part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. I won't. I'll be a good boy. Da, 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 da. Oh, you got the smith sword. It's a sharp blade made by your granddaddy. <laughs> Very, very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Varty at once. Da -da -da. Okay. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once, humans and Pekori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. I think his voice has changed. <laughs> Just press start and then L or R to... Okay. Mm. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. Da -da. You got a map of Hyrule, now you'll never get lost. Oh, we'll find a way. <laughs> Alright, okay, that's useful. I am count I am counting on you, Butter. Only you can break Varty's curse and free Princess Zelda. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Woo! Slashy. Okay. <laughs> If you get lost in your eyes, then 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 there. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, looks like we're on an adventure then. Uh, even turned to stone by Varty's curse, her eyes are filled with life. Hurry, save her. Yes, me. Hmm. Uh. Well, speaking of adventure, I'm about halfway through Snakewood. It turns out, um, having six times speed really helps really helps to get to get two places so yeah I don't know when it'll be because you know I had a bit of time spare so yeah just letting you know about progress for now though let's focus on smashing these I can't smash anything this is 
want to break things. Those stairs are a bit funky. Okay. Um, what's in here? Can I... How do I... No? Uh, okay. Uh, we passed the Minish Woods before... Oh, the Triforce. We passed the Minish Woods before. Focus. Um, so it should... Oh, rolling. Do I have to kill you? Okay. Woo! Just kill. Just kill. Oh, God! Come on. Come on. Combat? Oh god, combat! Oh! Okay, this is... This is gonna take some getting used to. Can't smash those down yet. Can I cut these? Yes. Cutty cutty. Cutty cutty sword. No. Right. Okay. Ah, damn it! Okay, this is... Oh, I got a rupee. It's green! Don't spend it all in one place. You got one rupee! Is there anything in this game worth one rupee? Ugh. Oh, silly game telling me to do things. What's up with this rock? Okay. Oh, ninja flip. Um. Turns out Link secretly a ninja. Yeah. Um. The reason I'm cutting grass wherever I can is because there's normally hearts or rupees in them. I won't cut them all because that'd just be tedious and long. You know, the chance of getting a small amount of money is better than. Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stab him! Stab him! In. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm just getting a hole. Okay. <laughs> Don't question it. Don't you? Yeah. All right. I will get better. I will improve. Become stronger. Why are you guys not killing anything? Literally the worst soldiers I've ever seen. Look, he's right in front. This, that thing was right in front of you. You did nothing. Not impressed. What do they pay these people? Because it's obviously too much. <laughs> Alright, uh, ooh, can I cut them no. Hmm. I want to cut things. So much cutting. And I can't force my way into that farm. Oh, that's upsetting. Um. There's no money! I just want the money. Ooh, ah, yeah. Okay. Oh, a Gorgon. Gorgorok or something? Gee, something. Big rocky fellas. Yeah. Oh, I want to. Oh god. Okay. So it seems our only real option is down the eastern hills. I I get the horrible feeling that we're going in the complete opposite direction to the Minish Woods. No pots. So I've just forced my way into a house. There's literally nothing in here. Can't slash anything. I can't interact with anything. Well, this is this is disappointing. I have three rupees though. Just for that, I'm going to smash up all your crops because I'm a spiteful green man. <laughs> Spiteful green man. Um, not jolly, as the adverts would suggest. <laughs> okay. Slashy slash. Okay. Uh, oh, come on, it's a gate. You could jump over that. Uh, Alright. Climbing, I suppose. Okay. Come on, come on. Alright. I'm worried that a lot of commentary is going to be just slashy slashy, but... Somehow I doubt that, because this game is rather pretty. Yeah. Oh god. Sorry, one one moment, I, I pulled out my headphones, and that hurt a bit. It hurt a bit. Um, okay. Can I... no? Yuri? Um, I, I want to hear... Can I hear... Oh god, okay! <laughs> Get back just to kill him. Oh. There's some perverse joy in killing small, round, red things. Don't know what it is. It might be partly because I can swing the sword at unnatural speeds. Out are those thorns? Hmm. It's not cool. I, I think I lost just I just lost like half a heart on those thorns. Hmm. See, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, Zelda is kind of like Metroid. And for those of you who don't know what Metroid is like. Um, I mean the uh, it's the kind of game where you collect things that le let you do new things and yeah like for instance um, yeah, what's that ow yeah. um, uh, um, hmm. I want to I use an example I saw it a minute ago okay okay that thing 
that that doorway thingy there that looks a bit like brown cheese. Mm. Um, that is a thingy that you probably need a special item to use, but we don't have it yet. Yeah, basically you collect new items and then you can go back to areas you've already been to to unlock new areas where cool things are like heart pieces or money. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. Why? Uh. Okay. Personally, I'm looking forward to getting a bow and arrow because I like I like shooting bows and arrows. Yeah, it's probably my main weapon of choice in Zelda games, when it's applicable, of course. Because you'll see. Ooh, I mean, okay. Help! Help me! Mm, oh God! Oh, that looked painful. Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? I'll, I'll help somebody. Can't anybody hear me? I can hear you, but I don't know where you are, and I can't. Oh, I can't swim. That probably needs an ability too. Um, how do I help? Oh, piece of heart. How do I help you, stranger? Um. Okay, so this is obviously a puzzle. Um. Mm. So it looks like a tube there. So we need to get down on the other side of that. And oh, there's a log. Curses! My plan is foiled. Um, of course, we constantly have to be looking out for that guy, who, that thing, <laughs> who wants help. So that's oh, there he is. Okay, that was easy enough. Hey, kid! Uh, change his voice. Why not? You there? Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. All right. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse a little? Help me! All right, I'll slash you up. I'll slash you up! Arr! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Aren't you going to finish them? I did not know. Phew! Well done, that was close. Not that I couldn't handle that by myself. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? <laughs> oh, I see. Nah. The Pecori, you say? And Varty? Vati's cursed someone? What? The sacred blade? Is that so? I see. I see. You know, you and I have a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. Is it, is it to do with your voice? Because <laughs> it's quite ridiculous. Um, and you say that reforging the sacred blade can break his curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Um, I, I don't feel comfortable with him. I, I, t wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. This, yeah. Are you, are you gonna, bye. Take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? You seem... Ah! If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. Oh, my... There! Now you can't possibly leave me behind. Oh, God. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless child. So it looks like we've got our hat now. <laughs> That's interesting. So it's alive, so a bit odd. <laughs> it's a start, I suppose. Let's talk to him. What? I haven't even had time to settle in, and you're bothering me? Deepwood Shrine lies, obviously enough, deep in the heart of these woods. So says my superior intuitive sense. Now get a move on. I didn't know... Ooh, okay, I can't swim. I didn't know that hats come in the form of birds. Hmm. Or is, is, is it a bird? It has a beak. So, oh, oh. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Hey, Who are the Minish? Ah, yes. Silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Pecori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they build a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. 
At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump. Oh god, don't tell me I trampled their entire village. No, that stump is a portal. Oh god, good. Used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minor size. Just stand on the stump and press uh, uh, R? R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. See? Uh, oh, that. Oh, it can sing. Oh, la 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 la! <laughs> oh, that. Wow. It's quite. Wait, what the. Oh, wow. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand by, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. Being minor sized is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the minish. And so, and as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your own sake, then for my own. Amazing. Oh, I can slash. I can slash like this. Can I roll? I can roll. Ah, so that explains how I can get through here. Oh, this is going to be a fun game. I knows it. Um. Oh god, platforming. Urgh! Yes. Come on. Yeah, that's relatively easy to be honest. Wow. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay. Um. Uh. Acorns. Does that mean there'll be squirrels around? Ah, oh, squirrels. Like my squirrels. Be nice to have a have a, have a look at one. Tiny. Oh, this. No, oh, minus village. Well, that was pretty easy. Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish village. Be prepared for this, the hat thing, to change its voice a lot, and they look a bit like Smurfs. Except slightly less blue. Pico, Picotti! Ribby, Ribico, Picotti! Pico, Pico, Ripocori, Ripi, Ripoco. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. That was totally blue text, so obviously that's an objective. <laughs> oh, um, hmm. I feel like I've just, I just vandalized something. Doesn't stop me from doing it again, of course. <laughs> Picoriki poco tipo. Okay. Someone must know. Hello. Picoriki poco tipo. Tipo tipo. Tiki tapa tapa papa tapa boo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this looks interesting. Looks like an elder or something. I reckon he knows. He knows. <clears throat> or not. Picori pico pico co 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 be. Um. Yeah. I'm off. <laughs> uh, obviously it didn't work out well for me. Uh, someone's got to know. There must be like a court trial. Oh, this is pretty. This place is very pretty. Hello. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine to the North. You uh, seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? Um, okay, bit, bit bad. You could use a jabba nut. Um, <laughs> okay. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. The barrel house, gotcha. If this involves something going in my ear that is anything like a slug, <laughs> I'm calling cheatsies. Uh, uh, oh god. Also, I also expect a book if that's the case. A very special book. Tells me everything. Um, and a ring, a thumb ring. That'd be amazing. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll stop with the references. Picoricipocotipo! <laughs> okay. Climbing the ladder. Uh, oh, this is quite pretty. Probably not where I need to be, but yeah, I don't think I should be up here. Down the ladder. Okay. Um. 
Oh, I can push. I can push! Oh! Okay. Uh, you. Oh, butter. This must be the jabber nut Festari told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress. No. But it's alive! You ate the jabber nut. Now you can understand the language of the mind. If only that's how it worked. <laughs> Probably would have done a lot better in languages. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. All right. Don't know why I'm being so active about this. We're literally just doing quests around a village. Oh well. You know, you should put yourself into everything you do, not just not just eating nuts. <laughs> we minish live no wait, sorry, that's a bit. We minish live in Hyrule Town and other places too. Not just in these woods. Okay. I don't I don't need to know more about you. I probably do, but I'm not going to, so yeah. <laughs> oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Eslo. Question. How the hell can the hat understand the language? Did we, like, split the nut with him? Hmm. This child is butter. Yep. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Pakori blade. Ah, yes, and you've come here now to have the blade reforged. If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. Sounds like dungeons. <laughs> these are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. Oh, well, it seems one of them is in the village now. Hmm. Also, there are pig farms. We should visit those. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's Abbey. Speak with Festari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have late, lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Gotcha. Don't know why I slashed. Just felt appropriate. <laughs> um, we'll have to end the set soon. We made a lot of... We made quite a bit of progress. Quite a bit. I'm actually really enjoying this game. It's really cool looking. I'm getting set to leave town. Visit some of my minish friends there. Town? There's a town? There's a minish town? Wow. Huh. Alright, hello for study. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. Oh, 8-bit versions of Zelda music. I love you. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. I will be. I will. Ooh. I forgot we were so small. Okay. Oh, wow, that's the entire village. Amazing. Huh. What's in here then? Oh, oh, so that's how you. Sorry. That's how you get through. You have to be small. I thought it involved some sort of laser or something crazy like that. And then it zooms in, and it's really cool looking. I like being small. Surprisingly fun. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He uh, said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. Uh, I'll be waiting right here. No, wait, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. <laughs> you scaredy bird? What What kind of bird are you? Scaredy parrot? Scaredy scaro? Spiro? I don't know. Hmm. Um, I do know those things look horrible. Uh, and ooh, I also know that, that sets fire. But this is a dungeon, and it would make sense for this to be in a new video, especially considering we're right at the limit of our time. So there's a key counter now, bottom right. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Anyway, thank you very very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the set. Snakewood will be coming back soon-ish, maybe, possibly, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you think of this new dungeon coming up and whatever. I know some of you have played parts of the game already, but no one seems to have finished it. At least no one said so. So, I think it's going to be a really fresh experience and a fun experience for all of us, which is really what I try to introduce <laughs> and make fun of the entire game world. <laughs> But my natural meanness aside, I guess this is where I should say adieu. Yeah.